Hello guys, uh, this is Sally Kapai. I'm here reporting for East Mojo from Manipur. Today we are sitting here at one of the scenic uh, view of uh, Pangre Big that's also in the Ukrul district, one of the hill districts in Manipur. And we've got a very special case in this program. He's none other than Sag Zingme. In fact, he is one of the finest fashion designer from the Northeast region, which he has been trussed up some of the top celebs of uh, Bollywood industry. So we are welcoming Asag Zingme. Hello everyone, thank you for having me. So when it comes to the fashions, uh, people always refer to the Northeasterners, right? But to make it yourself as a career into this industry, just few of you are there from, in the, from the region. So according to you, why is it so? Uh, they really like the way we dress, the way we look, and <clears throat> we just need to focus on our work. And we need to have a passion, and we need to have a we need to have a determination. But unfortunately, people we people don't have this uh, passion, and there's no determination. That's why uh, we only few people survive there. Your clientele includes some of the top celebs of Hollywood industry. So, in order to meet your requirements and the date line, how difficult is it? Uh, well, sometimes it's very easy, and sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, they have lots of options. They have lots of. There are so many designers among them, and it's very difficult for us to crack them. And yes. It's very easy because uh, if you really work hard on their requirements, so you'll get through it. And I'm sure uh, whoever wants to get in the industry, it's not that uh, you have a connection it's to get through there, but it will get through you through your work. Hmm. Okay. So in every design, sir, do you have a team? And how do you normally get inspiration from? Yes, every collection has a team, and the team comes uh, from the uh, from the time to time collections, and inspiration comes from like depend on the seasons. Okay, and definitely uh, you got a your breakthrough when you had a fashion year in the 2012, right? And there was a touch on the traditional costumes as well. So, uh, you know, going forward in your designs, if you wanted to highlight a rich culture, especially from the northeast. How difficult is it if you wanted to plant with a modern touch? Uh, our fabric, traditional fabric, uh, hand woven texture is very uh, difficult to execute the garment. And it's very attractive, very colorful. And the only thing is uh, facing problem when you make the garment construction, that's all. So uh, let's say if you're going to, you know, uh, mix up the, the costumes that you're designing with the, with a touch of the traditionals. Mm -hmm. So do you normally take permission beforehand? So how do you go about it? Yes, we have to take permission, uh, first of all. There's no doubt that our culture and the costumes are rich and colorful, right? So if you wanted to, uh, you know, plant in your designs, if you wanted to have, you know, mix with your design, uh, do you normally go forward and you know, take permission from the servant organization and the community? Yes, according to my experience, uh, when I <clears throat> first started my collections, when I uh, uh, start designing, uh, yes, I do research all the uh, texts that we have, and it was, yes, it was very attractive. And some of our tribe, some tribe, uh, I haven't taken permission, so that was my mistake. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm just uh, letting you know that you should take a proper permission and you should do a proper research before you start your design. So yes, it's very important. Uh, I consider myself as very lucky because uh, the way we dress, the way our look get attracted very easily by the, uh, by the people out there. And then <clears throat> you need to keep uh, update your design and then uh, because Bollywood industry is very competitive and it's uh, there are so many uh, designers out there they have so many options and uh, the one thing
something that our people has very few because um, you need to have a passions and you need to have a determinations. I hope that our viewers will get inspired with this inspiring interview and inspiring story of Asaga Zingme and we hope that more youngsters from the Northeast would be pursuing their career in the fashion industry and you know see them in excelling in this industry. This is Sally Kabai reporting for Ismojo from Manipur. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.